Requiem pillars are spread throughout the Cambian Drift and are almost impossible to miss if you've played for even just a little bit. They have different challenges you can complete depending on the Requiem symbol above the pillar with a total of eight different ones. Killing enemies in the right way will make the pillar spit out rare mining and fishing resources. Now, let's get into the different challenges. The fast pillar explodes every 12 seconds and confuses the enemies near it for 6 seconds. Confused enemies can't be killed and will attack non-confused enemies. Resources drop when confused units kill enemies or if you kill previously confused enemies. Jahu pillars create a 10-meter sphere that pushes enemies away, but it deals no damage to enemies. You have to stand in the sphere for the pushing to be activated. To get resources, you need to kill enemies inside the sphere with your amp secondary fire. Cross slows down enemies nearby every 12 seconds. The slowing effect lasts 6 seconds. And killing slowed enemies with your operator will make the pillar drop resources. The Loke Pillar attacks enemies with claw-like pulses. Apparently enemies killed by the pulses will give resources. But I've never actually been able to get any kills from this pillar. It seems like the claws do no damage. So I wouldn't waste my time on it if I was you. Netra summons two friendly tendril drones. Enemies that are killed by them give resources. But like Loke, it seems nearly impossible to get any kills with the drones, and in my opinion, not worth wasting time on either. Risk blinds enemies nearby every 12 seconds. The effect lasts 6 seconds. Blinded enemies killed by your operator will make resources drop. This is a great pillar to farm. Bone tethers enemies inside a 10 meter radius. Tethered enemies killed by your operator will drop resources. This is definitely the easiest one to do. And probably the most rewarding as well. Zada will change into one of the other seven Requiem symbols. And you'll have to do the respective challenge. All the times I've tried this one, it have never dropped any loot. So I don't recommend wasting time on this one. Might be bugged, question mark. Moving on to locations and routing. This is all the locations of the pillars. They spawn randomly though. So they might not show up in some of the locations for you. That's where routing comes in. The following route is the one I usually take to clear all pillars. Let me show you how it looks in game. If you found the video useful, you should definitely give the video a like and subscribe to my channel for other similar stuff.